Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Raja from IIT Madras. I am an MS Research Fellow in the Department of Electrical Engineering at IIT Madras. So in this video, I am going to answer one of the most important question, on as well as interesting question which generally arises in the minds of students who are seeking admission into the IIT MBS degree program. So and before that, let me tell you that I am also a degree level student at IIT MBS Data Science program. So the question is whether this degree is really online or not. Uh, many students generally ask me how the structure of the program, is it really online, do we have to go to the exam center for exam or uh, uh, do we have to go to campus, are we allowed to in the campus or not, something like that. So in this video I am going to answer some of the question and I will also tell my opinion, my perspective on this. So first thing let me tell you, so in my perspective this degree does not fit into the any definition of the current educational program running in the India. So if you consider it as an online program that is a very wrong perspective because this is not a really online program because in the online program all things happen in the online mode but here uh, only the mode of inst uh, instruction or the mode of study is online we have to watch the video lecture but for the evaluation we have to go to the exam center which are very professional uh, you cannot cheat into that and uh, let me tell you every competitive exam happen in that mode only we have to go to the teacher center in the same manner uh, uh, exam in this course happened so uh, there is no question about that so we cannot say this is a on online program and if we consider it, it as a remote program or distance learning program so uh, that we also cannot consider it uh, consider that because this is not a remote program uh, uh, in the same way that it is not an online program and we cannot consider it as a distance learning program also because, uh, uh, or an open program like uh, ignoring programs because uh, this is not a distance learning and we do, do not have to go to the campus uh, in some events or uh, some events like paradox we are allowed to go to the campus but that is not the case so we cannot also consider it as a distance learning program or remote program and, or open program and if you consider it is a hybrid program so that also uh, does not consider uh, does not fit into the definition of an hybrid hybrid program uh, because in hybrid program uh, uh, the mode of instruction as well as the uh, mode of evaluation uh, are uh, both online and offline but here the mode of instruction is generally online uh, there is no offline mode of instruction so we cannot really consider it is an hybrid program as well so in my perspective this is actually a unique kind of program which is started by the IITM uh, and uh, IITM coordinators program coordinators so uh, that is that I am not speaking because I am a student of IIT Madras or I am a representative from IIT Madras that I am speaking from my own experience uh, from whatever I have experienced so far in this program and in this course of action so in my perspective that is a unique kind of program and this is actually a change in the current educational system so if you are aware of the NEP program new education policy so this program is actually a part of NEP and I am ha very happy that I am a part of this change so we can consider it, it as a revolutionary change in the current education program because before that it is not possible for many students who are still eligible who are uh, equally capable to study in IIT but due to lack of study uh, lack of seats lack of infrastructure uh, more, very less number of students are able to study at IIT but because of this program many students who are equally capable are able to study the pro uh, study in this program and uh, take the learnings from the IIT Madra. So, uh, if you are not aware of the NPTEL, so NPTEL program is also similar to this uh, BS program, and that is also very really helpful. And I will suggest you to please look at that also. 
uh, uh, so you will get a lot of benefits from the NPTEL as well if you are not pre uh, preferring any degree uh, because the content is still available free of cost if you want the certificate then only you need to pay but if you want the learning you can still get free of cost so that is the beauty of the knowledge uh, you can learn it uh, without any cost and you can earn from this free knowledge as well so that is my perspective and in the end i want to tell you uh, if someone question about this program question about the credibility of this program and if you are enrolled in this program so let me tell you that actually you must be very proud that you are a part of a change a revolutionary change and believe me uh, after some years there will be a uh, lot of programs lot of similar program this in this way and uh, i know many institutes right now do not ex ex uh, ex accept this uh, degree but uh, after some time uh, this degree will also become uh, quite credible and quite valuable but uh, as you might know that change requires time so in the same way this degree also requires some time and more validation but if you are part of this program keep learning keep having the fun and keep getting the knowledge and do not forget to uh, share your knowledge with others so for then goodbye take care happy learning uh, i will meet you on some another video